Over the last week, we've been designing this rotary table so that when you when you twist the table, the the leaves expand out, so we can insert a leaf and make the table bigger, so more people can sit around it. Now, we wanted to animate the movement in Inventor and check that all the mechanisms work, so I've created a simplified version here to uh, to illustrate a an issue and a workaround that I came across. Um, I didn't realise that until today that in the assembly environment if you create a work plane you can't then flip the normal like you can in the part environment I'll just quickly show you what that looks like in the part environment when you flip the normal it means that the positive side of the work plane is on the opposite side of the work plane to what it was previously the reason why I wanted to do that was because um, if I Draw, I wanted to, all these leaves to um, expand at the same rate, so I needed to drive them from one single parameter. But because I'm mating this edge to this work plane here, there's a positive and a negative side, and, and of course the parameter is only one value, it can't be both positive and negative at the same time. So I, I could create two work planes, um, one with a positive side pointing this way and one with a positive side pointing the opposite. But to do that I'd have to create them in the part environment and then turn them on in here which is a little bit messy. So I created a, uh, a custom UCS and turned the work planes on, rotated at 45 degrees to the origin. And now I can create a constraint in here, we'll drive, we'll make it equals to 100 mils, and I'm going to constrain this edge to that work plane using drive. And see that's sat over the top and there's no point over center. So the trick here is if I go multiply it by minus one, it, it inverts the value and brings it onto the correct side of the work plane. Then I can use the same parameter here and it pushes it away. So it's the same parameter driving both both parts here. Now I'll repeat the process again here. That's sitting over center, so I'm going to use the inverse. And apply that and I'll just apply this one here. And everything's tickety boo. All right. Now, if I try and drive these constraints using the the drive feature, only one of them moves at a time. Works well, but it's not what I'm after. So I'm going to create a a form and drag that parameter across. Switch the control type over to slider and change the slider property so the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 100 and hit OK. Now when I use this slider all four move backwards and forwards at the same time I'm using a single parameter and two work planes to achieve it. And I thought that was quite a, uh, a sneaky way to use maths and inventors parameters along with forms so uh, I thought it was only fair I shared it. Anyway, Hope that's helpful. Have a good day.